the blind farmers. Great to have you back in Virginia today. Remember, if I can do it, anybody can. And I know I can because I can do all things through he who strengthens me. I am really excited today. You see my quail are behind me here. This is my first, uh, first quail. I've got 12 hens up top. I've got 10 down below and they're laying eggs really good. But every day I'm carrying water over here and have to go in and put individual bottles inside. So my son, if you see the tubing on the side of the building here, he's got the tubing already. So he helped me put this up and I can help glue everything together. We put it on the wall. So now today's the big day. I'm going to drill the bucket and I'm going to then uh, hook everything up and we're going to be uh, getting the uh, uh, quail fresh water today. Okay, so I got my drill. I think I've had this drill for like 20 years. Thing does not break. The thing I dislike about it is, boy, is it heavy compared to the new ones. Put the whole saw in. We are ready to go there. Now I got, got my fitting. I'm gonna have to measure down how far I can come up from the bucket. So I, there's a curve in the bucket right here. I gotta watch for because that means I'm down too low. So I'm gonna come up to here and measure. Put my finger to there. Yeah, I use approximations all the time of how I how I drill and how I nail and screw wood and everything. And hey, it works. So I'm gonna use this real quick. We are through. And that is great. I'll take it off. Comes back out. That piece is out. And we are ready to rock and roll here. I can't wait. This is going to be so much fun because I don't have to carry a bucket of water over here and fill these things up every day. Screwing it together. You know, sometimes you got to look at something and think about it. What am I doing? Backwards, I am doing it. So, back the other way, come through here. I gotta have a fitting on the outside to put the hose on. It just takes patience. It takes me a little longer to do things, but hey, I get it done. And that's the only thing that matters around here. I work out here all the time, mostly by myself. And um, today I had a friend help me get some tin because the other day we went to pull tin off and with a copperhead laying between sheets of tin. And that, I will tell you, scared me. Okay, so you can see inside the bucket, I got the hole, we got it coming in there, got it coming out the side. We're gonna plop it up top here. Here we are going up top. And we're gonna put this thing together. So I'll put the hose on. And it just squeezed right out. I've had it sitting in the sun so it'd get dry, get ready to go. It's on. There it is. Okay, so we're back. So the water's filled, nothing's leaking. I'm gonna put the bed on, tap it down, because we we got some good winds here at times. I gotta go inside. Um I'll put my back toward you. I don't mean to do that, but I gotta get reach my arm in here and test these things. Let me go down to the bottom one first. Water is flowing. Okay, those three all have water. Now we'll go up top to my sweeties. See if they got water. Mm 
I got water in all cups now. That means I can take these crummy things out. And this crummy board I've had sitting in here to level it up, which has gotten really yucky. We don't need that anymore. I'll keep it under here because you never know if it stops working, I may need it. Back and hook it. If you see here, I got these pieces of wood on right here. Those are my snake proof uh, covers so when I go in to get eggs, no snake can come here lay and eat the eggs. And um, we have a lot of snakes around here. Can I get this, guys? Thank you, guys. Okay, and we have now completed another great job on the farm, and one that makes me really happy. I will see you guys another day, and remember, I can do all things through he who strengthens me.